Hi, I'm Lessa Logan, and today we're doing the arm circles on the armchair. So the armchair or the baby chair is one of my favorite tools. In fact, when I opened my studio, my clients were like, are you going to have an armchair? Like, I almost think they wouldn't have come if I didn't have one. So it's really fun. Um, one of the fun things to do on here is the arm circles, and you can do them in two ways. So first, the feet, if you can't sit, like I'm going to sit in a second, you can do it with feet. Uh, parallel and knees stand, knees bent. You just have to really focus on pushing to activate the whole leg. I like to do, and I and it's traditionally taught with the feet together, and you pull your heels pretty close because you can get a lot more seat action. Because I'm like pushing, so I get a lot more seat action. And then you take your arms forward, and you can feel, you know, where your arms are in space. Um, and you want to feel like the springs are pulling your arms on your back. So you're not pushing the springs so much the arms come off your back and you're not letting the um, arm, springs push so much that you pop your ribs up. So find a good marriage there and feel your entire back go up, up the chair, not just down, right? And then you draw circles and they can be as big as you can stay connected to your chair. So if I go too wide, my ribs pop up. I also lose tension. So Keep the tension on the springs and go as high and as out to the side as you can keep everything together. And then you reverse, right? So like three to five in each direction. This is super helpful for really um, learning how to do a tall back, learning how to connect your arms to your center, feeling how your arms can go up and around. Because guess what? On the mat, don't we do a lot of that? Reversing um, so that the palms up is also a different one. It helps teach you like the arm circles and teaser, uh, horseback, right? Um, so there's a lot that you can um, practice here. And either direction you pick, this one's a lot harder for me. Um, the goal of doing anything on the armchair always is how can you then take what you just learned and move it around the room? So if you're struggling on the mat with feeling your arms connected to your back, come here and do it here. If you are feeling um, that when you sit up and shave and hug that you can't get the tall back, get your booty on this chair. It's super good for you. So I hope you have time to play with that in your own body. It's really fun to like double check where your um, sternum is. There's a space between your shoulder blades that will want to make a gap. Try to keep that on the chair, try to keep your stomach pulling in, no gaps, and especially on the sideways, how can you make those super wide, right? So anyways, um, you're awesome. Thank you for watching this. Let me know how this feels in your body in the comments below. And I love um, hearing how much you enjoy these videos and that you're sharing them with your friends. Thank you so much. It's how we get this um, to continue to grow. And so I really appreciate all of you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Meredith, and I'm one of the people creating OnlinePilatesClasses.com. One of the things that I love most about this project is that we're building the very first free online catalog of Pilates exercise how-to videos. We release three new videos each week. People often leave comments asking Leslie to explain a specific exercise, and you can do that too. And if you love watching these videos and believe in the project of creating this catalog, you can support it by joining Leslie every week in her online mat and reformer classes. Just go to onlinepilatesclasses.com slash subscribe.